Alright lads, welcome back to Gate World, and I think it's zone 3. If I'm being fairly efficient, I may be able to finish this episode. That's the idea. I'm not making any sort of promises, because I know how this game can be, but... Come on. Come on, buddy, just get inside the thing. These jumps are so weirdly hard to do. There we go. Can I move in between this? I cannot. Hmm. Wait, these letters say something. Oh shit! I can actually jump up. Ooh. Wait, this says tie time. Hmm. Hold the phone. Oh shit, it's an eagle! Kill it! Kill it with fire! Yeah! Do -do. Okay, so this says time... Time... Time what? Time. Just time. Okay. <laughs> sure. Shit. Can I not go back now? I think I may have screwed up. This is slowly starting to look like some sort of Duke Nukem-esque scenario where everything is just completely wrecked. Uh. Oh, it's a rat. Kill it. Oh shit, can I not make that? Come on. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't actually need it. Why would I? Kinda wanna go talk to the old man though. Hmm, there's a teleport. I'm gonna go talk to the dude first. And see where his infinite wisdom takes me. Hey buddy. Over the mountains, the capital city of Gate World. Okay, I thought we landed in the capital city. I thought that was the whole point. Or... Um, was that like, New Gate World, and this is... Old New Gate World. Maybe. Like Futurama's New New York. No. Do do do. what is this? This is stuff, okay. This is just a bonus. It seems to be. And this just takes me back here? Okay, can I sort of teleport and teleport back with this one? Because it looks like an active teleport, so... Technically speaking, that means I should be able to... Oh, there we go. Oh, it just takes me back here, okay. It was worth a shot, that would have been a nifty secret. <laughs> if, like, the first teleport just took you back somewhere else. In any case, where am I going? I guess I'm going town. There's the exit. And I guess I'm gonna save. Not making that mistake again. Do, do, do. This is a strange level. It feels very linear. Not too sure what to make of it. Oh shit. What the hell? Fucking mole people. Uh, this teleporter is dead, okay. And this is a dead end. Hmm. Yeah, this level is extremely linear. I'm definitely not gonna complain, because lord knows, I keep getting lost infinite number of times. Even though this game doesn't have levels that are that huge, but still. If you start heading the wrong way, you can get lost really fast. Doom, doom, doom. There we go. Ooh, there's the key. Look at that. Hmm. I should 
probably not tempt fate too much. There we go. Oh shit! I wanted to step on top of that, but I kind of failed. Now what? Yeah, the arrow actually points me up that way. It kind of feels like, oh, that was the secret. That was the secret in between the things. That is sad, but I don't think there's any way for me to go back to that. So, unless I, like, save scum, but it's not worth it. Oh, wait, yeah, I can actually go back. Come on. Fuck it, let's just kill the rat first. There we go. Yeah, this takes me back here, as I suspected. Which allows me to just try again. Do do do. There's been a suspicious lack of spikes around. It kind of makes me worried. The game is being very lenient. At least that's how it feels. Wait, what happens if I teleport again? Uh, yeah, it just takes me back. Sometimes you have these teleports that don't go back and forth. So it's probably always a good idea to check. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Can I make that? Can I actually make that? Huh? There we go. There's some stuff. That was actually entirely not worth my time, but there you go. I should probably save scum. There we go. So we've made our way all the way around this place. And I'm assuming this is slowly gearing me towards the exit, which was somewhere at the top. Um, What's up, rad boy? Please die. Okay, no spike in the face, please. Come on, be gentle. No spike in the face. That's like one of the worst ways to go. Just sort of trying to jump up and then suddenly getting nailed <laughs> in the brain. Come on, there we go. It might actually be interesting to try and do a completionist run of this game. By which I mean trying to grab all the treasure, which is probably not that easy. And I'm definitely not gonna do it, but... I'm just saying it might be interesting to watch, at least more interesting than... Was that one of the... Biomenace snakes? Did I just see that right? It was like a recolor. Come on, don't tell me. It is, isn't it? It's a recolor of, of the Biomenace snakes, totally, it is, it has to be. Did these guys actually flip some assets from other games? Come on, they look strikingly similar. I might just have to put like a side by side to make sure I'm not talking out of my ass, but it does feel like they're very similar. Not necessarily in the color. Oh wow, that key is very well hidden. Wow, that is evil. That is evil. I'm glad I found that. These levels suddenly feel very... Um, they feel okay, they don't feel that supremely difficult, as opposed to everything I've been through. Especially like the linear part. That's the biggest help in a game like this. Do -do, do -do. 
do do snake man giant arrow pointing me to the left for no real reason snake man and they even do like the same biting animation the biomana snakes they have the same animation the biomana snakes shoot like spit some sort of weird balls because they're they're robots but these guys don't do anything they just sort of mildly they just sort of leer at you maybe it's a pokemon thing do 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 good stuff i'm like one coin short of duplicating my entire being because that's how this works. If you have enough money in the world, you can duplicate yourself and live forever. Oop. Did I get that? I'm not too sure if I did. I'm not entirely sure how far the game keeps... Uh, how do you say? Yeah, definitely not very far. I mean, in these old games, usually you had like this mechanic that, uh, to save memory, the games don't process any AI or, or any sort of physics or AI or anything beyond what's visible on the screen, which could lead to some weird behavior where you can basically shoot at something and that something disappears off the screen just in time and it doesn't die, even though it totally should. And there's a teleport. Um, do I want to take the teleport? Hmm. Well, that's um. That's a great goddamn secret. But is it gonna take me back? It is not. Okay, interesting. We have teleport land. So we're done with the linear stuff. Three teleports, four teleports. Jesus, I'm gonna have to figure out where all of these go. Hmm. Five teleports. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be fun. Six teleports. Seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna have to explore all of them. Um, I guess I'm just gonna go right to left because that's that's kind of where I came in. Seems the most sensible. And also, this is a perfect spot to save. Jesus. I was talking so nice about the whole linear thing and how I was enjoying it and then suddenly the game pulls a fast one on me. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. I getcha. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. They just point to each other. That's great. I mean, I hope so. It would be kind of funny if the game had more areas. Well, it wouldn't be funny, it would be cruel, but more areas that look the same. And it teleports you back and forth in between different areas, and you don't even realize because they just sort of look the same. Okay, so the second one takes me back here. I kind of want to make sure I visit them all, so... Once I find one that actually does lead out of the place... I might go back and oh, damn it! I might go back and check everything else. So that was the first two done. Um, I keep forgetting which which one I've done without having to count. Okay, there we go. So one, two, and then beyond the dead red thing, three. Oh, Jesus. That's a bonus. And that's a key. The second key of the map. Wow, I... Huh? Where are there two keys? 
Maybe they figured, maybe, maybe the developer put the first key in. Totally forgot that he put the key there. And said like, oh, this map doesn't have a key yet, and put, just put a second one in. Or maybe he's just not as cruel as I would assume him to be, and actually gives the player a break. Okay, so that's all these ones done, I think. Yeah. So all that remains are these ones. I guess this is why they call it Gate World, because it's filled with gates. <laughs> they didn't mention that. It was some sort of humanoid civilization with gate world technology and oh my god oh shit i'm back where i was i could jump down here i probably don't want to not just yet but that's a good sign though i'm back where i was which means i explored this whole place fully right i did i totally did Okay, let's go back. Even though this is not obviously a completionist run, I still want to like try to explore. Let's see. And this takes me back here. Of course it does. Okay, let's continue. So the second, like the first one after the red thing. Takes me here. Okay. Buddy. Buddy, please. There we go. And then the first one after the blue thing. How many are left? One, two, three. This one takes me here. So it's gonna be down to the last two. I kinda get this uneasy feeling that one of them is gonna take me like in a point of no return and the other one is gonna lead to goodies, so... I am going to save scum the shit out of this. There we go, let's see, this one. Leads me back here, really? Weird. I guess maybe I'm more cruel than uh, the developer. What the hell is going on? Why did I suddenly get points? Yeah, I guess I must be more cruel than the developer, because I wanted to put in something even more dickish than he originally planned, so... Okay, I guess here we go. Where the fuck am I now? Oh, yeah, I, I didn't have only one way to go, did I? Because I could also drop down this specific hole, this one. And I could probably still do it. Let's see. But then I'm gonna have to find my way back to... I totally forgot. Fuck it. Fuck it, I don't want your stupid coins. I'm not gonna go looking for the correct teleport just to take me back here so I can drop down. And grab the- oh wait. Oh shit, yeah there it is, this hole. It's this hole I could drop down to. Kinda feels like I had to go through an entire section of the game still. Fuck it, let's go. I'm sorta of glad I found this. I'm gonna take it as a good point. And thus we head into the last level, before the boss. I'm still not even sure what uh, the final boss is. Wait, now they're clearly... Wait, I'm an idiot. No, th this is like the, the eye thing from the first level, actually. From the entire first episode. I was gonna say they're stealing assets, but... <laughs> I just recognized something from the earlier part of the game and totally twigged on that. Hmm. 
I'm assuming these eyeballs are gonna be useful. I should probably... Yeah, there we go. Um... Hmm. Jesus, what is up with this level? It just goes up and up forever. And I should have shut my mouth. Oh, it's it, it's not even done. There's still more to come. Hmm. Okay, so I have a teleport. I have arrows pointing both directions, which is always helpful. Ow! Eagle man, go die. I'm kind of worried, I- Oh no! Oh, there's a key! Oh yeah, I was gonna say I was worried I hadn't found the key yet, because it's gonna be hidden in some obvious place, but there you go. Sweet. Now all I gotta do is find the exit between all of this mess, because it seems like a very non-linear level. Oh boy. Do-do-do! What's that in here? Maybe I should follow the arrows. Um, okay. I guess I'm gonna go talk to the old man. Never shoot a wise man. Yeah, listen, he's kind of in the way. Ooh, there we go. Gleasel Xanmar, inventor of all gates. Is that the guy that's waiting for me? Oh, there we go. Jesus, that's the end. Oh, that is amazing. I think I skipped, like, a huge chunk of the level there. Which is probably just all goodies and hunting for that key. I've been getting really, really lucky in terms of finding the keys. Okay, what are we dealing- Whoa, Jesus! Okay, it's you again. I've seen you before, that's fine. And now I gotta figure out which one of these blocks is real, and which ones aren't. And don't die. Well, this is definitely interesting. It's very much the same as uh, the first episode, where you have like the mini boss. That was a previous boss, and I'm assuming I'm gonna have to dodge again, because he looks very angry. Let's go. And keep a good lookout for the key, you never know. Let's go. Oh shit, that's the exit. What the hell? There is no boss, it's just him. And there's a key. Holy fuck, this may be it. Yeah, let's bail. Let's go. After an intense escape from the ruined Gate Worldian city captain, Klondike tries to contact Stella. Yes, Cap, I'm reading you loud and clear. I thought we crashed. That thing is still okay. Have you found the beings who shot us down? I'm okay, heading for what appears to be the mountains in the distance. I've not yet found those responsible for our crash. Solar cells are recharging, navigational systems are okay. Outlook is good for full recon- Okay, so we're basically waiting for our ship to do the whole self-repair stuff. So we can grab the goodies and take off. I'm leaving the ruined city, I should reach the mountains. Interesting. So that's gonna be the last episode. And I guess I'll see you guys then.